Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our glorious republic. We're still out here in the rural areas trying to get all these uh, big highway roads done, these four lane sort of highway things done. And I've added a whole bunch of extra fields over here, but right? I've been taking back the lake and the lake is uh, much smaller now. It's getting pretty deep there. So it's going to take me a while to get uh, this part here out of here because it's very deep right here. Um, but I'm, I'm working on it over time, right? And uh, I think we've added enough fields for this farm. So once this farm gets done and we get the equipment for it and the subsequent logistics and stuff for it, uh, distribution and stuff for it, we should be able to uh, just like, immediately start having a bunch of fields. Now over here, we have this constant gridlock happening, right? There's just all there's too many vehicles in here, especially with the, uh, you know, the construction vehicles and things are coming in here. It's, it's very, very hectic, but that's about to end because it's going to be winter. And all of these crop trucks and stuff, they stop operating in the winter. That's going to leave these roads pretty much wide open for everybody to run with. Uh, speaking of which, I have technical service over here and there's some snow plows that have been added over here as well. So this thing is done and ready to rock. And uh, we can go ahead and tell them to make sure that the one way roads in the area are completely cleared out followed by asphalt roads, and then you can take care of gravel roads too. We'll just say like that many. I don't really care. Uh, we also have a couple of garbage trucks through here, and they're going to be responsible for emptying this stuff out, but I haven't told them where to take stuff yet because where they're going to take stuff isn't done. So we are finally going to start employing the transfer station for what they're useful for. Uh, this is a garbage, uh, big garbage transfer station, and it's not done yet. I probably should get somebody working on it, right? It's just the helicopters right now. Uh, let's just get a... This road is done. Yes, this, this gravel road is completed. Okay, we're going to get just a dirt road on this for now. And I probably should get some uh, construction crews working on this. Let's get Zernowski's office at high priority on that. So, we should see the plows spring to life here. Make their way over to other various roads and stuff that are over there. And we're going to start getting more and more of these things done. But... The rural areas, right? We're trying to take care of it as best as we can as we expand out that way. And uh, I think once we have that field up, and this farm up in our operational and all these f fields and stuff are starting to get done, uh, everything will be great. As long as this has power and it does indeed, road connection is required. Did I not have the road connection yet? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I don't think I really want to go for dirt, but well, here's what we're going to do next year, right? We're, we're solving this problem right by next year having some of these offices drop off the crops in here instead all right that's what's necessary we need them to drop it off in here instead and then the rest of the new offices that i'm making for the new fields they all drop the crops off in their respective terminals over on this side so everybody just gets to drop it off in a different location that should help the the traffic compared to what's happening over here so this is obviously a very bad situation it has been for over a decade a bad situation but it was all i got and technically it was working sufficiently so i let it go but if we can get like say i think at least a quarter of these trucks a third of these trucks to drop things off over here instead it'll make a world of difference we just need the rail to be done out that way and it's uh not quite there we got a crossing right here that's not completed yet and uh, the section right here is being worked on currently. They're just coming and crossing here uh, and going to get this done. So once they're done with all this rail, then we're fine. It looks to me like the left side is completed, though. All the way? It is all the way. And this section right here is done. So it is, if this section is done and electrified, then we can technically have the crop train go there now. Um, but I'm trying to hold off on that just because I don't want the track builders and stuff to to get in the way of crop train and they already are a little bit but i keep babysitting them okay a uh, couple of other things that have been taking place i have i know that um i have just completed it looks like the slaughterhouse it's done now and as soon as it completed people started driving over here to work here and so now we have people working here so we're gonna need a way to export this meat we have 370 uh, 3.75, sorry, tons of meat 
in this building and it needs to be exported over to this meat storage so that trains can pick it up and we can start having our own domestic supply of meat uh we also need to do a lot uh about the biological problems over here because i wasn't planning on working this just yet but it finished so okay and it looks like all of it finished helicopters are fast man jeez they're so good all right so we're gonna need to get a better trash situation for sure i think i'm gonna go for a big a big one with big containers. I think that's that's probably the best way to go here. We're going to go about here with it. And uh, I think we'll get that to be a high priority as well. Get Charlobinsk and their people on it. All right. And that will satisfy what's needed for the waste. Uh, over here, I thought we had a good waste system, right? I, I did set that up before, right? We have this one over here. Uh, this one over here is being emptied regularly. That's good. And it's probably... Where are you doing this at? You're doing this... You're not. It's just... We just have garbage trucks coming here. Interesting. Well, there aren't... There isn't a lot of livestock here. I think it's right here where it becomes a problem. Which... Uh, we do have one right there. Just making sure I've got my bases covered here. Now, all the biological waste has really nowhere to go. Right, because a lot of these garbage trucks have not been told to do anything with biological waste other than take it to the border. So we haven't really been doing much. I think getting another one of these could be an interesting idea, but we've also stopped sending things here because it gets bogged down and full and it messes everything up. So uh, I guess what I could do is, is tell them now, it's, it's gotta be a temporary thing though, but I gotta tell them now to take their biological waste over to this building and uh we'll have these guys do it too that way at least some of these vehicles are doing that uh, because I'm, no I'm noticing that fertilizer is not full anymore and also if i come over to the train stop over here fertilizer is not full anymore here either so we got uh, some capacity that we can work with there uh, most of the roads here are done so i've added the uh the driveways and stuff these are gravel for all of these houses I've got this road being pushed in now, and this walking path just completed. Good. Uh, kindergarten is going here, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, for, for, these guys need kindergarten, right? So the kindergarten is going here. It's a medium-sized one, so it can handle everybody pretty easily, I would think. Uh, we also have a clinic going in over here, and that clinic will have its own helicopter, because I've got an extra helicopter I'd like to put it to work. Um, what else? What else? Uh, fire, state, fire department is going right here. So there'll be a fire station. And then I'm thinking of also putting a police department over here too. Just because you might as well. It's like its own little town. It's it's not, but it is, right? Because the police stations that we have is right over here. Which it can go places. There's a lot of cars. So we could, we, we could do it. But I am also, again, planning on having, you know, some more people maybe living over in this area. And just having some police closer, I think, could be a good thing. And as long as it's close enough for people to work there... Everything should be good. So I think right here is more than more than fair on that. It's really close to where we need to be. Uh, actually, not here, but here. And I have something else I want to put right there. We're going to put this. I better make sure that something else will fit first. Uh, all right, so the something else. I don't like my vehicles pulling in here to get the, the fuel. It's not a big deal, but the problem with it is that all these vehicles end up waiting in this little intersection here. And this gets really busy. I'd like my vehicles to come over here and load them. That way when they're queuing up, they're queuing up over here. And it's not nearly as busy uh, over on this side. I think I'd like that better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the loading and unloading roadway thing here. And this is for oil and stuff, right? And we're just going to say that my loading and unloading for my oil is going to be right about here. All right, and then as long as it lets me do it, take an underground pipe from here and bring it into here. And I didn't think it would because the, the water is right there. So I was a little concerned about that. But if I come around and dip it low and then we pick it up, it needs to be picked up a little slower than that. <laughs> so let's take it over here and we'll just come over a little bit more. And right about here should work. And we take this and go right there. Okay. So if I just rig this up, oh, I could have went on this side too, I suppose. Is that shorter? 
I mean, it has actually a, a lower chance of interfering with water, but at the same time, I think this is pretty much serving its purpose already, so I don't need to. Nah, don't worry about it. Let's just leave it the way it is. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a fuel unloading and loading here, and then these trucks we're gonna go load here, and that way these guys don't get over like bogged down. So these guys will still load here. They're right across the street. I like that. Um, but these guys here, they're gonna come out and go this way instead, and load. Uh, from this point and then i can also have other fuel trucks from around the republic they can come over here and, and load this one too it's faster and it's technically a little bit closer and it might encourage them to use this road as opposed to uh, all coming down this one road here so we'll see how that plays out uh, but with that place now I, I think i'm gonna just put in a uh not a school a police department police station uh, it's a little one it doesn't have to be very big it just has to be just enough to, to get the job done for everybody um right about there is gonna be fine uh, we can leave it as a an asphalt road to be built. That's fine, too. This is a dirt road still, so I'm going to make this paved. Yeah, we're going to make this asphalt. And we'll have uh, the fire station have an asphalt road, too. I'll just, I'll just let it go and have multiple little projects. That's fine with me. Uh, heating plant has stopped production in the wintertime. No bueno. You should not be doing that. Everything seems fine, though. Okay, so not able to get to a pub or tavern. Not a big deal. Food is a big deal. Not able to get to food is a big deal. There's a lot of people not able to get to food. That is definitely a big deal. Fire department, police station, kindergarten, cinema. No, I think maybe a local grocery store is needed here. I was trying to avoid doing that because it means more trucks coming into this area. But it would also mean, I guess, less cars leaving the area to go to where like it, it kind of equals out i guess do we have one small enough this is the clinic and you can see we're already kind of short on you know people and patients needing treated and everything right um so this little tiny clinic is kind of insufficient as well but let me see if i can maybe get like a little grocery store in here you know just a small one i think even as even one of these bistros might be all right they don't hold as much food, though. I think one of these little grocery stores is going to be fine. As long as it's in range for everybody to reach it. And uh, I think over here, maybe not quite. I still have some, you know, paving roads and stuff to do through here. There's a lot of dirt roads in here still, so I think that'll probably get ironed out. Um, so why don't, we, why don't we place this, like, around the corner? It's like a little corner store for all these guys. And we can actually have the walking path be yeah like this we'll do the walking path on that side and then the road can be on this side about like this and then we'll do let's say a gravel road here yeah gravel road there and then we'll have the paved access point for that to be over here but i still need to pave this road it's still asphalt at the moment so for now, why don't we just do something? We'll do something like that just so they can walk to it and then maybe they can help build it from that point. But we're going to have to get something going on in here as well. So uh, we'll make sure the Zanoski office is on that. Uh, no helicopters can help with it because things are just too crowded, but that's okay. All right, good. Well, I think I've covered almost everything I wanted to look at. Uh, we need the uh, stuff going for the slaughterhouse though, right? So uh, what I want to do is take the amount of workers down to 10 for now. In the forklift garage, we need to buy these. So the forklift garage, we're going to buy... Let's start with... We'll go with three. Three should be fine. And then in here, we want you to take the meat from here and bring it to these... I think the both of these, right? Yeah, meat. both of these are meat storages. We just have double the meat storage, double the fun. Uh, and then there's the crops that are over here. But we could just have it basically be dropping it off in both of these. Should be fine. Um, we do not need anything with uh, the livestock is being taken by truck and it gets automatically fed through. So that's no big deal. And uh, we would I would have just connected this directly to the storage, but I wanted extra storage because these things are nice. They hold 350 tons. But if I do this right, I might have more than 350 tons ready to rock for my entire Republic's meat, you know, expenditure can stop being an expenditure, right? And we can make even more cash. We are up firmly over 100, and, uh, 100 million now. I know we briefly touched it for a little bit there back there, but I started buying helicopters and uh, extra trucks and all sorts of stuff. So that, that ate into my, my funds a little bit there. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to need also some fuel for this thing. And I think maybe my fuel rats. How's that working? Oh, shit. Hang on. I think that's got to be done by now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so I did, a, I did a partial move, right? I shifted some people over. We have these temporary offices that had vehicles, and I just copied their plans over to the office. So now they're still doing the same things, but they're still going over here to get it. Because this wasn't done. Well, now this is done. So what I should do now is find the loading station, which is right here. Get rid of that. And we should now be able to have you load from there instead. And let me just double check and make sure the pipe is done. It does look... To oh, nope, not quite. Right. Okay. This is the thing I needed to do. This is why I didn't change it yet. All right. I'm remembering things as we go. Don't you like that? It's almost like I've, you know, I'm really prepared. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do here, though... Uh, actually, is I need to take this away and make the connection be the tank instead. They need to be picking it up from here instead, is what we need to do. Um, and then same thing with this one. You need to load from the tank instead, just temporarily, because what we're going to be doing now is removing this pipe and then connecting this pipe to that outlet right there, right? So I need to tear this down and that's done by just being very careful. <laughs> that's done by just doing that. And this is now a high priority for everybody. Please get over here and do it. All offices get over here and do it. And once that's torn down, we can then hook this one up to that and that will feed just as it did here. It will feed up to here now. And then I'm ready to rock. And then I've got to, I'm going to have a lot more fuel vehicles as well. Speaking of which, I can purchase additional fuel vehicles. So KMZ 5410 cisterns. Cisterns, cisterns, oil tank. Yep. Uh, 5410. Yeah. One, two. We'll just get two more of those there. And we'll also get, I think, two more of them here as well. Oil tankers. One, two. Okay. So adding to... Uh, adding to what we can do there. Uh, and then you have power, correct? Yes. You do have power uh, by grid. Yes. We have grid power as well as the wind power over here. Supplementing, which honestly, this grid, this power here, we use 100% of whatever we generate because it's not generating much. But it's doing stuff, man. All right. Now fertilizer starting to build back up. I like it. All right. Good. Uh, what next? What next? What next? Um, I, I mean, I've just mostly just been letting it run. I think because we have meat started, we can go ahead and get another livestock farm going. So I can unpause that, get a second livestock farm running. Uh, we can, we can have that happening. And then that's going to start spreading out workers even more. Let's check traffic really quick to make sure we fixed it in the winter time, especially with the, the snow and everything. I mean, it's flowing. Uh, I did do one thing. Uh, shortly after ending the last video, I put in a, a another lane in this road. And that's because I was making this parking lot. Some of you guys might have seen like the plans for this parking lot uh, before in the last video or something. Um, I think I touched base on it over here. But uh, I was making this parking lot over here just because I can get extra cars, but also because I was thinking about having a beach right over here. And so you can see how the the land has been brought out a little bit more, right? I've, I've expanded the coastline over here. And that is so that I can place a beach right here. And you have to... Beaches are very finicky. You got to be perfect. And I think I've done it now. I've been working on that on the side too. Uh, it's in the residential areas. Beach. And if you can get it just right to where you got all the green dots on land and all the blue dots in the water, that's what you got to do. You got to figure out where this thing is happiest to do that for you and if you can figure that out it is not an easy thing but I'm, I'm pretty sure I figured this out and then I I said I was place it with you guys but I'm not seeing that happen now so I might need to go in and tweak it even more but there's a spot here where this thing is going to go in and it's I'm just going to have to figure out where that is I'm very close I know it right there okay so right here we can place a beach, right? And that's just for people to, you know, 
go swimming, go out to the beach, get a tan, whatever, right? This is, these guys live near the beach, that kind of thing, right? And uh, we do, of course, have the sewage outlet here, but remember, this is getting processed. So the quality of this coming out is the same as the water here. So effectively, we're not polluting where they're swimming. It's just, it's the same quality water as, uh, as where these guys are. Now, the other thing I wanted to use this for is that if you wanted to drive to get to the beach, currently, you're going to have to park at one of these residences and then walk which is okay, but it's kind of eh, adding more traffic to this area. So I thought we could also do something interesting here. We have this walking path that's right here. And uh, obviously there's going to be the, the beach walking path will be here. And I need to actually build this in order for them to... <laughs> I need to build this for them to come. So somebody told me that if I do build this, then they will come. So we're going to have this be here. And... Uh, we're going to need to get, uh, I want a walking path from this over to this so that they can park here and then go to the beach. And I thought it might be interesting. It's certainly not, it's not, not, not a great idea, but I, I think it might be interesting at least to put a bridge over this troubled water right here. And so if I was to take, let's say the pedestrian overpass steel, because I like the look of the steel one uh, for this purpose. I was kind of hoping to fit it in like right here, but that does not seem to be something that it will allow me to do. I thought for sure I was able to do this before and I was testing it out. I think maybe what happened was uh, I don't have the beach placed exactly in the same spot as I did before when I was playing around with it. I might have to tweak where this, where this beach is placed. In fact, why don't I instead place this steel bridge first and then that will give me like my definitive this is where you need to place your beach kind of thing. Um, I was sure this would fit right here. Yeah, like right here. And then over just a little bit more if possible. No, this is where you want to be. Okay, well, that's where that is. And then I can place another walking path on this side and see how the bridge will go all the way across the water like that. I think that might be interesting. It's just like, a, you know, walk over the bridge, come down and you're right at the beach. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that out, and there might be like a, there might be something in my way over here. It's not letting me do what I want to do. Uh, yeah, it should let me just place this thing, but it's not letting me do that. Um, if I turn this way, will you let me have the bridge? Hmm. I thought there was a... Sp I was looking at this, like I said. I, I do these things offline. I, I kind of tweak with little ideas and try to see if I can position things accordingly. This is sticking out a lot more than I remember. Maybe we just sort of casually come in here. And, uh... Oops. Whoopsie. Whatever have I done? Uh, and then we, uh take our steel overpass and oh what do you know it, it it fits now it's crazy wow and then we uh hook that up with one of these pads i'm gonna do the asphalt footpath but i also of course need a uh, a dirt one here anyway and this is the footpath into there so i need a dirt one into here anyway just so we can have it maintained so we're gonna go i think we'll go like this and then we'll bring you down to like that and then like that. And that way we can have our road crews come in and make this as well. Okay. Now, assuming that that's positioned correctly, and I know it's winter time, so it's a little more difficult to see. Uh, but at least today I don't have the HDR. <laughs> at least today I don't have my colors wrong. Um, where is beach? Okay. Beach, beach, beach. I had to actually double check that just now. And I was like, uh oh, but I'm not playing anything HDR right now. So that should be fine. All right, I think this work. The problem with that is it looks like it's right in, like the walking path. It does let me place it though. It's a little weird. Let's see what that does. It's right on the edge there. It just needs to connect to this. It just needs to, yeah. It just needs to connect to this. Oh man, that's like. Come on now. You're killing me here. All right, I, I think I can go just a little bit more of that direction and it'll work. It's taking more time than I wanted to, I'm sorry. 
I mean, I can always ex just extend the beach out a little bit more, right? Just, just bring out the land a tad bit more. Right? If you want, if I want it to be like right here, for example, this is about where I would want it. So I just click a whole bunch of times. Hey, <laughs> is that the answer? You just click a bunch of times. It might be. Now it says that. Oh, no, there is a spot here. Yep. Right there. Got it. That's all it takes. Not right there. Hmm? So uh, we'll make that asphalt as well. Yep. And then let's get the beach construction started too. So again, we'll go in Zanowski office. We'll have you guys be building that too. Okay. All right. It is the winter time, which means we have a lot less traffic over here uh, than in the spring and especially than the fall. So this is the time to really start making all these roads over here too. And this one's nearly done. There's just 200 work days left. Uh, they finished it out to this point and all of this is completed. Uh, all the way out to here. This is still dirt right here, but uh, if I round that off, then we'll have, I think, asphalt all the way now. Yep. Sure will. Everything will be asphalt on this. And then all the way up here, I believe, is asphalt. Yep, it is. Uh, so we can start maybe working on this roundabout too. We can do that part and that part. Yep, yep. Probably want to get this road here done too out and then there's definitely one other road i wanted to get going on and that is this one right here i think this one is a more important road to get working on so right here we have asphalt and everybody's gonna just slide over and drive on this road instead because it's the asphalt one so since they're already doing that uh why don't we take the road away from that field uh yeah away from that field and that one and that one there we go and we should have uh all of these cleared out yep and now we should be able to take and get you to be asphalt all the way out to that point and that is definitely something that i want to get done quickly because then i can make this a you know the, the whole one-way road kind of configuration support a little extra traffic in this area as we go and then these are dirt roads here. I can get rid of this one. If I get rid of this one, then this road can continue. And I could maybe redo this where it doesn't connect at that corner. I could just continue it on. That would be better, right? Like if this one was to keep going from this point. I think so, right? We can still do that. All the way out from here. Definitely. And if I, I don't even know if I need to get rid of that. I could just make this road all the way up to here. And we can continue this on uh, all the way out this direction. We can keep going this way all the way out to this point. I mean, why not, right? I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, why not? I, I, somebody else in the comments kind of told me this, which is, it's to be honest, like I'm thinking about it. And it's like, of course, this is very obvious, right? But, you know, my actions don't show that it's obvious and I'm, it's not on my mind. So it's not as obvious as it probably should be. Um, is like, how often do you put in two roads side by side like this and then regret that you did that? How often do you not do it and regret that you didn't, right? I don't think I hardly ever regret putting in extra roadways. So, you know, and I, I find myself retrofitting a lot of things. So like right here is where I kind of put that into practice. So I was like, you know, there's this back road. People can drop things off. Well, it's going to be you know with four four lanes so uh oh no temperature problems please i mean they're the prisoners prisoners are having temperature issues uh where too many connections in this capacity issue uh, i need another heater probably um this one is not working at maximum capacity and it could be it really could be if we just it's got an extra people there also over here this one could be working more too could definitely be working better than 61 percent so that would probably help a little bit too but yeah i think i think having one more heater is going to be needed and i'm um, looking at this right we already have two pipes headed out this way into two separate heaters that are in this area 
and they're both sharing connection but yet that is still a lot of connections for even both of those two things so how about we take a look at adding one more heat exchanger and i would say we put it right next to the prison but i know there's going to be uh three heat exchangers in this area from my plans and i'm fairly confident the one i have over here tags up that prison like that i think it does i, I, I guess i don't remember i'll have to look at the plans but um i don't think it's really going to be that big of a deal we can always disconnect it yeah i don't really want to disconnect it though i think i'm gonna wait you know these guys can just uh like every once in a while they do maybe have a heat problem but for the most part they don't and then this needs to be up like that it, we need definitely need more food there and not clothes i'm gonna wait on that because i i'm pretty confident the heat exchanger i have placed in my in the plans that i've been working on are are gonna tag up that prison uh okay so the, i don't really have much else to show you guys um I, I have just have to let things build right it's mostly it uh we can say you know this is happening now with these guys still need fuel uh fuel rats you you have 20 connections already you have 20 connections already great uh tell you what we're gonna buy a few more trucks over here uh oil tankers one two three four let's just get four more I have to move the other ones to the other office i can do that right now actually uh, we'll go to right here you we want to copy your plans over to this one and then we'll move all the vehicles over to this one too and now we should see these vehicles leaving we can stop having this thing be super overloaded because the trucks aren't going to be here all the time and they're going to start over here instead that's going to take a lot of the traffic off of this intersection and just I think really alleviate any traffic issues that are over here now that this is gone we can delete this distribution office goodbye yep this one can go away too goodbye very good just taking away some of the clutter all right there we go and eventually we can open this up so I can have a tunnel I really want to get a tunnel that goes from here and takes people over to go that way from this side because a lot of this traffic buildup, like I said before, is the fuel trucks, yes, but also it's the uh, people going left. They turn and they go left. And I want to kind of alleviate that to where we don't have so many people going left. Even if you're going straight, and that's fine. You can still get to the side, of course. Uh, but I do want a proper bypass lane here, which I'll be able to do once I get this stuff out of the way. Um, this becomes just a simple maintenance road as opposed to like the main road everybody's coming down i think everything will work out really well for this we just they leave the office they get their fuel they go right it's i think it's going to work out really good just have to just have to get it all all moving so on this side here do i have i don't think i have any more fuel rats that was the only three that i was running before so you guys are gonna have right you pick up fuel from here for now that's gonna be uh, and then I want you to supply that with some fuel and let's maybe get you to work that one and how about mm, I think just those two for now we can always do more later but I think just those two for now and then that will get the meat brought out of this building and into here and uh and then we can really start just cranking out meat for our republic so we don't have a huge expense for this because if we take a look at uh last month's import we had some concrete imports this is uh, if you see like building supply imports and stuff that's Cernoski, right they're not getting concrete local they're getting it at the borders and stuff so when you see building supply stuff uh, and that's really one of the only things mechanical components are also sometimes brought in over there if they're not available here they'll get them from over here that kind of thing um i'm not sure why we're importing alcohol that part's a little weird i'll have to take a look at that 
Uh, same thing with the import and fuel. Somebody's still bringing fuel in. There's a truck still doing this. I got to figure that out too. Uh, but look at the meat though, right? It's almost 700,000 is what we paid uh, last month for that. It's crazy. And this month alone, we've already spent, it's January 7th, we've already spent over 300 grand on meat, right? So we've got to look at... Um, I also want to know why we're buying crops. I, I, I got to take a look at this. I, I probably have a few trucks still that are making their way over to various different places and loading up on stuff. Like this guy here has no route. Yeah, you're just one of those big old T815s with a trailer. Maybe I'll just get you to... You know what? You're going to be employed over here. They're not going to be all the same trucks. It's fine. You can just come over here. Get off that route. He doesn't have a route because we started exporting bitumen with... Uh, pipes instead. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our money outflow instead, our export. Uh, or I guess this is our money inflow, isn't it? Our, our resource ex export. Bitumen accounts for the overwhelming majority of our money, okay? Our exports are crazy good that way. And um, I'm happy about it. Right. Power exports were half a million a month. Uh, and power exports, which is pretty good too. We've already exported a million worth of bitumen this far. Uh, thus far in 2004, it is. Uh, pretty good. All right, so as soon as we get a fuel truck over here to deliver fuel, we'll have meat, okay? And then we can start getting uh, the biohazard that's happening over here. This biological waste is... It ain't good, man. We got to do something about it. And then we can take this biological waste and bring it over here. But I don't know about this thing's being, like, full on capacity, so I may choose to instead get another facility right here and then they can just work here for it and that way like all the manure and stuff all that bio waste can end up over here getting processed right here instead and then maybe it'd be worth it i don't know but we could maybe rig something up to where we can export it to the border i don't think it's worth it for fertilizer um we're making enough of it if, if we can just get it transported with a train like with, over here right we transport it from this area with a train over to here so it could be used in the fields over here, right? We have these offices are are told to take this stuff, this farm right here, right? This farm, all this farm does is take, you know, with its tractors. It's just got nothing but tractors. It's more of a recap for people who aren't, maybe don't know how it's working, right? All this has is tractors. And all it does is it picks up fertilizer from this point and it goes out to whatever field it needs to uh, to fertilize. And we have an auto search for 3,000 for, for 3, meters. And so it's been covering every field automatically up until this point. But it looks like I'm going to have to add some extra fields because we're starting to get a little too far away. And that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with, with that. Um, the tractors, they take a long time to get out that way, but they don't take, they're not moving at any uh, slower speed than most of the traffic is in the spring anyway. They fertilize the fields and stuff in the spring. And most all of my logistics trucks are not on the road in the spring. They're in the office waiting for harvest season, right? So I'm going to have most of my traffic be little tractors driving all over the place, but they're not going to be really getting in anybody's way. Not really. So, I mean, I mean, up until the point where we have personal cars riding around, but um, you know, we'll come to that. We'll come to that when, when it comes to it. Um, if we have to maybe... We could get once this rail is completed over here we could maybe get the train to drop it off in another location and then have that fertilizer even more local this is what this train network is for is you set up a network of tracks to allow for this and so if we were to do that what would be the route we'd take it from here we drop in we come through the same way we did always except this time we're going to end up either continuing on this direction or whipping around through here drop it off here if it's full here, then we take it along. We're going to take it along this route here. That will end up coming back, connecting to this, and then going that way. Right? Um, or it, it doesn't even need to come this way, right? It, it can turn here. We can just connect this. We don't have it that way now because there's no reason for a train to do that. But we can get a reason for a train to do that. Right? We can we can connect this up. That's not hard to do. We could even start building that now, maybe. Um, if I did that, right? If I went and said, okay, you connect there. Well, I don't know why it would be right on that. That seems weird. You connect here, let's say. 
Yep. And then from there, you connect over here. Right? And now there's a reason for a train to do that. So we'll get uh, another set of tracks being made over here with our track builders just to allow that to, to run. Okay? And then we can send the fertilizer more local. Once this, you know, whole setup is done, you know, everybody's dropping things off here. We can come over here and maybe have fertilizer stationed over here with another farm with fertilizer. And then just it gets spread to all of these fields, you know? Totally easy to do. Let me let this run until winter is done at least. I think it's a little easier to see. I'll be right back. All right, they're done tearing this thing out. So we're going to go ahead and take this pipe and just connect it to this right here. Just like it does. Yeah, like that. And uh, when this pipe completes construction, we'll then have a very effective fuel crew that can go out all sorts of places and not interfere with this intersection, which as you can see, is already significantly better. Uh, again, this is kind of an on and off thing, so it does get a little crowded in this direction, but it is already like barely anything going on here. And as I get these guys to come over and get more fuel, they end up being a large percentage of the traffic heading in this direction. So um, now that this is disconnected completely, we can go ahead and start tearing this out of here. We don't need it anymore. So we'll start tearing that out. And then once this is torn out, we'll disassemble that road. And uh, then we'll start looking at what a proper slip lane is going to look like. We'll probably tear out this existing slip lane that's already there and probably tear out this gravel road and everything too. Uh, we're then going to want to tear out a lot of these above ground lines and just move them further away from the road so that I can get that one lane to kind of come across like this. Um, and then I want to get a tunnel as well. Like I said before, I want to get a tunnel and uh, I need to look underneath. There's a lot of stuff going on underneath, but I think uh, a tunnel could work if I started it about here, went underneath this pipe. And then if I was to go underneath this one and just come back out on the other side, uh, that would take care of, of that too. I really do wish that intersections underground were allowed. I think that would be a very big deal if we could do that. Uh, same thing with bridges and stuff. You could do some really good stuff with intersections, uh, you know, city skylines level stuff with intersections. If we could just make some kind of intersection above ground, but uh, as it stands, the only way to make an intersection is at ground level. Uh, what else were we going to look at? I've added probably another 20. Uh, let's, let's go with 15 to be conservative. I, I've get added about another 15% more cars in this area. I've, I've given them more vehicles just to further stress the system a little bit. Right. And, uh, so we're seeing kind of what that's all about, whether or not it's uh, a big deal or not. I don't know. We'll see, uh, this area here is flowing really nicely. So I don't have any worries there, but we'll know more when the snow goes away. Because I think these guys do. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody in the comments will tell me. But I think these guys do take into consideration plowed versus unplowed when they make their roots. So like if they if there's a road that's already plowed and there's one that's not plowed, even though they would normally take that other road because it's got snow on it, they'll take the plowed road. I don't know if that's actually true. I do see a considerable amount of people still using unplowed roads, but to my knowledge, that's maybe that's just like what they have to take, right? Um, another thing that was happening, and I may not be able to stop it completely, but I was getting cars that would bypass this on ramp here to the roundabout, and they would just choose to use this one instead from this direction, which I thought was really weird. Uh, same thing here, that truck just did it, right? They bypass this one from this direction and choose to turn here instead. And that's creating some really weird things because it just doesn't make sense to do that. You have an easy access point right here to get where you're going to go. Uh, but they, again, they choose to, to do that. And I don't think I can stop them like that. Tr that car right there just did it right. And then he's got to merge over to the right side anyway after that, which is weird. Oh, hey there, buddy. A big old crane in my face. Hey there. All right, so they're using a gigantic tower crane to make the pedestrian bridge. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> the, b b make the pedestrian bridge over water, mind you. I approve. That's some real. That's some real Soviet ingenuity right there, using a tower crane on water to make a bridge. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, anyway, so I don't know how to fix that. Uh, what I've done to try to, to try to fix it anyway is I've gone in and messed with speed limits. 
So I've got in this area right here, you'll see that this section between here and here is 40 in both directions, which is to encourage people who, you know, it's to encourage basically any through traffic in this area between these two is something that, you know, you're going to move through. You're not going to turn. Hope is that I can persuade vehicles to not take the 40 mile an hour zone, but instead turn and go faster here. Um, as opposed to this one here, which is like, you can get right there. There's no reason to go further and have to slow down to turn here. And so far it works most of the time, right? And of course the slip lane here, this, if, if people are going straight through, I don't need them to, you know, worry about getting involved in this. It's only from one side. Of course, I can't do a slip lane in the other direction since, well, I mean, just the way it's built, you can only really do a slip lane in one direction when you do it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, seems good. Once that bridge is done, I think people will be able to park here. Probably have a lot more traffic coming through here to get to the beach. Which still has a lot of construction uh, left to go. Still. Uh, what else are we doing? Building a parking lot right there. Just to add more cars. More capacity for things. Uh, a bunch of steel right there. That's great. This distribution office is going to actually work with the farms. Um, its job is to get these fields here. I'm noticing that these fields here are neglected most of the most falls, uh, most of the, the autumns, if you will, the harvesting season. We're not really getting to these fields very well. And it's mostly just because a lot of my harvesting is like they're centrally located over here. And so there's like, they're just not getting out this way. So I'm going to use this one to, to get out that way. And I thought about also putting another one, like maybe over in this area so that it can help with this area too. We'll see. I think there's a bigger. A bigger need is diversifying where they drop off the crops, which is why we've got the second one here. And it's not hooked up to power completely yet, although it should be. All the all the power hookups. I, are you guys proud of me? Look at how satisfying is this, huh? Look at this. They're all they're all next to each other. Oh, I mean, there's a little jankiness, but that's not me. That's the game. <laughs> Get them all just flowing right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. And then this one, high voltage all the way over to this. Looks good. And then this one has medium voltage all the way over to this. So we are powered. Gas stations in a, is, is there ready to rock. Yeah, this is ready to receive now too. So what we could do is say you guys who are going off, uh, you guys are going to have the drop off point is going to end up being here. We need a road connection on that. Okay. Um, you know what? We don't need it yet. We should just do it with asphalt, right? Can we uh, make it at an angle? Pretty please. That'll do. And that'll do. All right. Let's get these guys to come out and finish this. There it is. And like that. Let's get them to come out here and finish that. I like it. Um, and then gas station's ready to rock. All the drop-off points are going to be ready to rock. This is the technical service office which I could put a couple of garbage trucks in here, but I don't think that's super needed. Maybe we'll put like one of the bigger container ones. I don't know what I'm going to do in this area yet. I'm going to hold off on the technical service office for now. I'm more interested in a distribution office and none of those are built yet. Can we get... You guys can't build this because there's no road connection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is just the farm, uh, farm vehicles don't have any need for anything major or fast. So it's just going to be the dirt road for these guys. No big deal. Let's get that going. And I want that to be high priority. I don't think I can actually farm these fields this year. I don't think I'm going to get it done in time, but definitely in 20, 20, uh, Oh five, I guess it'd be 2005. Uh, definitely in 2005, we will have 50%. I almost double. I mean, I, I add a lot of crops here. So I would say, what do you think? If I zoom out enough, what do you, what do you think? We've been farming. You'll be able to see the difference. Actually, let's, let's do this comparison in like June. And then you'll be able to see which fields have been added that are not currently being farmed. Right. Um, but generally it's, it's, it's the ones with the trees around them are the ones that we're farming already. And the ones without the trees are the ones that we're not farming already. That's generally how it works. I know that doesn't really apply to this does you just have to zoom down yeah uh but pretty much we've what we've added for extra fields is uh this one here and then everything on the top side of my mouse is pretty much uh new stuff that we've added so that stuff right there which i think is 
yeah i think i think it's it's uh fair to say 50 percent increase in crops so we should hypothetically then be able to afford another food processor and therefore we should be able to afford another 20,000 ish people right population has been pretty steady around 39k it does drop every once in a while for various health reasons or happiness reasons or crime or whatever it does drop every once in a while but is generally hanging out hanging around 39k 40k ish you know that kind of thing have to pay attention to oh boy uh what's up with this why is this happening wow why is this happening where are you guys going right now so it's it's the fuel trucks trying to load up here that's slowing things down too uh you're full on fuel so what are you doing what what are you doing you don't have a... get out of here you're kidding me you're just in the way all right um sure man oil storage 100 you don't have a route it's weird uh go back to a depot Let's get out of the way i think i'm pretty sure that's the reason because it's in there but it's not loading but again this is what i'm trying to avoid i, I want i want to get these trucks out of here and i want them to uh, be loading somewhere else and so i think we'll get the helicopters to work on this and, and the and the pipe that's underneath as well wherever that is it's not accessible by helicopters okay let the zernoski office handle it then but we want to get that done 200 work days remaining so that we can get all these trucks at least these ones here can start loading over here but because of like where this is located and how short the road is uh it might be a good idea to maybe do something like this well I was gonna hook it up to this road, but it doesn't look like that'll let me. So I could do something like that. Which I don't know if that matters, but you know, if the truck is gonna queue up for this, maybe they'll queue up on this road instead. I don't think it hurts anything, so we'll just give it a try. All right. Well, uh, let's check out, check in really quick on our meat industry. We're missing livestock now. Hey, we got through all the livestock. All right. There we go. Yep. So now we just need more people working over here. Let's crank it up. Let's get 50 in this building and 50 in this building. Now that's going to be very difficult to do without using the bus stop located right here, which can walk to all of the livestock farms once we get it done. Um, they can't quite walk to the slaughterhouse, although it does look like there might be a way to get that to happen, which would be very interesting. the tunnel alternatively i can rip these fields out and uh place other things here other infrastructure here other buildings other workplaces other whatever it's just two medium fields it's not like we're losing a whole lot here and then we could just have the walking path come straight to the side you know maybe another parking lot or something to get even more people working over here that's not a bad idea we could also maybe get like a checkpoint for trains to drop off some things like maybe we bring for example this is all mixed waste but maybe we want them to drop their bio waste somewhere else or we want them to drop their um you know you know bi hazardous waste somewhere else right that's the thing and we could then pick it up from this location and, and move it over somewhere else so there's a there's a chance to use the trains here again what are you waiting for is it for the track builder uh i don't think so maybe hold on let's check my signals here because we didn't have this yeah, yeah okay so this is all purple again okay so with this all being purple that's why you're stopped uh we need to change these signals to no longer be there oh i can't get rid of it really it's because it's a different kind of track that's where the electric track ends right i'm gonna have to electrify that even further okay well either way we still need the signals to change so it's going to be located here instead now you can all go all right wonderful how's my bridge looking there we go see now i don't want to say that looks good but i think it looks interesting and you know what i would i would walk that bridge 
I would park right here. I would be like, I'm walking up high above. I got a little better view of the town below. I got a cool view of the lake and the mountains in the distance as I walk across this bridge and come on down and then go to the beach, right? That's what I would do. Or stop by this bistro for some good grub, you know? Speaking of which, we should do something in this area. I'm not sure what. Um, we already have the propaganda. We got a, a little carousel here that I've tried to do, but there's a sewage overflow because apparently I haven't connected this to sewage. Really? You're just out of reach? You're in range for the water, but not the sewage. Isn't that weird? Because you're like right here next to the outflow. Um, I mean, I guess I could just... I have to pop it into maybe this one so that it can still be processed. But like, do I really want to do that? A whole new sewage tank for that? For a carousel? Because the bistro's taken care of. Yeah, bistro's got that one. He's It's good. And like all these other buildings that need it already have access to it. So it's just this one. I feel like we could just get away with a sewage truck coming by every once in a while, right? I think that's fair. So how about this? We'll place a little sewage tank right here. And then we'll just say that every once in a while, a sewage truck comes on by and picks it up and takes it over there, right? You can even make it a little closer to the, to the drop-off. So the drop-off is going to be way over here. So if I can place this somewhere where it gets it, but it's, you know, further, like right here in this area, it will still work for it. Right here, it looks like it'll work. You just have to find the right spot. Man, how about right here next to the store? Will that work? I can't place it anywhere. How about, okay, right here? It's a little close, but I'll take it if it lets me. All right, well, it's not letting me place it. I think it's the uh, electrical that's in the way. Right there. Well, I still can't get the walking path to cooperate. Hmm. not letting me do it. Come on, get, get, just get in there. Right there. But it doesn't actually draw the walking path. It says it can work, but it doesn't draw the walking path. Alright, I'll have to find a place for this, but I, I think we don't need to connect it to the whole system, though. It's not a big deal. Can I just put it in the middle of the road somewhere? How about right next to this one? There's already one here. Can I put can I put it here? It doesn't reach. How about right here? It kind of gets it in with the rest of the cars, but whatever. It's fine. Just build this so we don't have any build up because that's probably going to contribute to people dying. Having sewage build up is a bad thing. Anyone who uses it is going to be yeah, health risk, right? So we want to get that going too. And I do have to take a look at this, right? We, we again have, like, I just added, I think probably about 20%, 15%, 20% more vehicles. And so we do have to take a look at stoppages and figure out why they're stopping and what we can do, you know, long-term to get it flowing smoothly. There's still probably another 60 or so cars I'd like to add into the system. But remember, they're going to be spread out a little bit. So, like, we're going to have people living over here. Cars will begin originating over here instead of originating over here. And so, yes, it'll get busy, but they have a different origin point. So, they'll be having different routes. And hopefully, maybe that'll balance out the roads a little bit better. Or maybe it'll make it worse. Don't know. It's an experiment. I'm, I'm playing around with it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I wanted to just... And I want to have, like, everything. I think uh, a bus route would be a good idea. We have over here a 160 person place that has a bus stop right here that's no buses right and i have a couple of buses so I'll tell you what i can do i'm gonna grab for my bus where's my road depot here i'm gonna grab this bus and we're gonna have you go uh like it is uh, i'm gonna grab people and you're gonna bring them to this bus stop all right you'll drop them off there you'll load them up here we don't need anyone else other than workers to do that 
right? And then from there, you can stop by the end station, which is right here. Yeah, I like it. All right, we'll have that happen, and then we'll copy that route to the other bus and send that bus on a journey as well. So now they're they're kind of split up. I mean, they're not they're not keeping their distance, right? But they will once they get to the end station. We can do variable time to split them up, and then that will give uh, people that's going to get workers over to the livestock farm. So I go ahead and turn that on now. We should get workers popping out of there and saying, "Hey, I want to ride the bus," and then hopefully they they you know they will. Um, I probably should pave that though. So the buses will have to come in from a certain direction. We're going to say they come in from this way for at start. So we're going to go ahead and pave this part first. Yep. And then, uh, once this is paved, then we'll pave this side. That way the buses can just keep coming in and, um, they'll have to come down here and then turn around. But for now, they're just going to pull in here and do nothing because there's not really anyone to pick up. And then, I, now that I have a bus stop there, though, I can afford some additional houses. So maybe I'm going to place somebody else right here. I think I'll place, like, another... Uh, how about this one? It's a little tall for this area, isn't it? This is not any taller than that one. Oh, we can put it over here. Ooh, fancy. Right next to the bus stop. You know what? I kind of like it. Yeah, we'll build this. Um, see about maybe building it off of this road at the start, though. That way we can just get this whole thing paved. Uh, now nah, you know what? It's fine. When we go to pave it, then we can just delete this. Because what we really only need is that connection there. We don't really need anything else. And then I mean, I could just put another one there too. More people in Zernoski, but they're also using these guys, these, these more people, right, are also uh, using the buses, not the cars. But there's more people here. We'll just kind of connect both of these like that, I guess. That's fine. It's not going to help us build this yet because I have to pave this road first, but we'll just give that a higher priority for now. And yeah. All right. Well, I think I've shown enough uh, in this video. I'm sorry if it's uh, taking longer to make videos now. It, it just is. We have a lot of stuff going on and I really do want them to complete. It just takes time to complete them. And um, I, I don't want videos to be like, Look what I did, guys, and then we move off and just show you things. I really do want to build things with you, but um, it does require some time to be committed to the, the actual building of the of the stuff. So uh, you have a couple of different flats right here that's been put in, along with a parking lot here that'll be used by these flats. These flats, I think, have uh, I don't remember how many of these. These are small ones. It looks like they're this one here. Yeah, so that's this one. So 33 workers in each one. So that means about 90 people here. And of course, only parking for 30 cars. So they'll get to walk and go into these parking lots to use these additional slots here and here. And they should be able to reach pretty much all of these parking lots should be reachable um, so that uh, we can have a lot of them using them. And then if there is any extra space... I don't think I'll do this, but I can you know, I would take like a little small parking lot and put it right over here or something, you know, just extra cars. I can, I can line them up right here too. In fact, so you can add more cars into the system that way too. But, uh, probably I could, I could get away with a bus at this point. I could get away with a bus there. Um, and then this store is almost completed. And when that store gets done, we'll hook that up to the logistics as well. I believe there's a connection point left on this one over here near the, Right here so it's 10 out of 20 and have that supply this i know it's kind of far away but it's also it, it's close to the supply that they need anyway right the food and stuff is coming from over here so it, it needs to get there and then come this way so it's going to take a while until we get the rail completed out this way and then we have all of this right and that's when we get our new food factory and maybe I could have thought of this ahead of time, but maybe even clothing. Mm -hmm. We could do another one, right? This right here, we could also copy that over to this side. And then just have another one right here. And then maybe have clothing and stuff made through here too. I think I like the way that is though. Let's not get it too complicated. Um, clothing and stuff can come from another location. It, clothing is also a heavier polluter. So I kind of want to get that away from people too. Uh, and then we'll have 
people living in, I think, in this area around the farms. Right, so it'll kind of be a more populated area here. Uh, not more populated than this, but, you know, not this. So it's kind of a, a middle ground here is what I'm thinking. And then, um, you know, this road comes across and it'll meet up with these roads over here. Uh, you can see I'm starting to do this with the farms. And, and this is going to be a paved road right here. This is our highway. But then there's this extra road here where all the fields are connected. I'm starting to do that with the farms now. Uh, very similar to what I did over here. I think this is a great idea uh, because the tractors get off the road, right? And so uh, I think it's a good idea. That said, though, it's really not that big of a deal because your tractors are almost never on the road the same time as your trucks are. It's really the harvesters that can interfere with trucks, which is still about the same speed. I think harvesters move a little bit faster, but uh, it's still it's nice to have, I think, these roads here so that the harvesters can move on to the next field and not interfere with the trucks. So cool. All right. I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I don't know when the next video will be. Uh, again, it takes a little longer to make them now, but uh, I'm letting it run a little bit. I'd love to get the existing construction projects completed before starting something new. Uh, that's something new. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to be able to do that because there's too many things pending. I want to get this place up and up and running, right? But we need the other food factory running before we can do that. That's why that food factory area is, is happening. So I need more food. So we'll... Um, We'll probably build them both simultaneously and then we'll just take whatever access that we need from the border we'll just buy it uh temporarily until this food factory is operational with people over here uh, and then once we get that food factory running pretty consistently and, and pumping it out with all the f extra crops we have and shipping that food out we can then start to look at um uh, at that point we can probably start to look at charlemans north yeah uh, because at that point we will have enough labor coming into this area to provide us with an adequate amount of steel because we're really hurting for steel that's one of the reasons why things are taking a while we're really hurting for steel um a good amount of it goes into mechanical components yes when we export this right we could we could do that i'm not doing it now but i could export this and then use that money to buy steel so that's something i'll think about doing uh later as well and these garbages are just getting so full man it's wild that this garbage is so full it just means I need a lot more garbage trucks. We're, we're not able to pump it, pump it into here fast enough, right? And maybe even another garbage train. I might have to take a look at that too. But a lot of stuff to do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.